Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today we pay tribute to Lou Denny, who recently passed away January of this year, 2022. Born Lorenzo Louis Denny in Brooklyn, New York, better known as Mark Forrest, Lou was an American actor and bodybuilder best known for playing the lead in a series of Peplum films otherwise known as the Italian Sword and Sandal classics that Steve Reeves and Reg Park were also well known for in the 1960s. Similar to Reeves and Reg Park, Lou Denny would also play the role of Masiste, a Hercules-like figure several times in his movie appearances. Now looking at his life and career, Lou Denny began bodybuilding at the age of 13 and he eventually opened his own gym in Long Island. A Hollywood talent scout saw his picture and invited him to Hollywood to audition for the role of Tarzan. Although he didn't get the part at the time, he became part of Mae West's troupe of muscle men in her Las Vegas stage show. During the 1950s, he also entered several physique competitions and although placing low in both appearances of the AAU Mr. America competitions of 1952 and 1956, he did win the titles of tour class winner of the AAU Mr. New York City in 1953 and won the overall Mr. Venice Beach in Venice, California in 1954. For fans and friends of Larry Scott, it is well known that Lou Denny's training methods inspired the young Scott. As described in Larry Scott's book, Loaded Guns, Larry Scott describes how Lou Denny took the young teenage Larry Scott under his wing when both were training in Bert Goodrich's gym in Hollywood. Lou would go on to teach many of the concepts that Larry would adopt into his training and later teach himself. Possessing incredible lower lats, Larry describes how Lou Dengi taught him how to develop the lower latissimus so that it would not appear V-tapered but more like a heart shape using a very effective exercise called the scapular rotation and also taught him how to accentuate the lower bicep using a variety of preacher bench curl variations and in doing so taught Larry the importance of training the lower bicep so that he even when relaxed, the bicep would have a longer and more massive appearance. In his book Loaded Guns, Larry goes on to describe his mentor, which I thought was fitting for this tribute. Alongside Larry's descriptions, I have chosen to display some images of Lou that best accompany these words. Quote, he was immense. I have never seen anything like him in the flesh. His chest and back were and still are the most impressive I have ever seen. His waist was 29 inches and his abdominals were about one and a half inches deep. His arms taped at 19 inches cold when his body weight was only 185 pounds. His legs were his weak point or he would have won all the top physique contests. On top of all that, he had terrific white teeth set in a great looking face. Lou was the perfect ladies man. His back was not V-shaped but actually came out heart-shaped from his waist before it started up. His pectorals were so thick that it took almost the full length of your finger to his sternum bone. He was way ahead of his time, end quote. And yes, such was the physique and impressiveness of Lou Dengi. Following his retirement from competition and after the phenomenal worldwide success of Hercules played by Steve Reeves, he, Lou Denny, became the second American actor to be recruited by Italian producers. He was signed to a three-picture contract with La Vendetta de Ercole, retitled Goliath and the Dragon for the US market being his very first film. His name was changed for the film to Mark Forrest, but he had a strong advantage due to his speaking fluent Italian prior to arriving in Europe. For the English version of the film, he was dubbed by Jackson Beck, who voiced Bluto in the Popeye cartoons. That's some trivia there. Ludenia would continue in the peplum genre, but left the cinema for a career as a European opera singer. He then began a third career as a California voice coach. He later resided in Arletta, California and died on January the 7th, 2022 this year, one day after his 89th birthday. 
let us finish this tribute to Lou Dengue with some photos, magazine covers, and movie posters in which Lou Dengue appeared in, and in this way, celebrate the wonderful life of Lou Dengue. So I do hope you have enjoyed this tribute to Lou Dengue, aka Mark Forrest, bodybuilder, opera singer, teacher, and movie star. Like Reeves and Park, Dengue would pave the way for many future bodybuilders to transition from the sport of bodybuilding to the big screen and therefore served as a true pioneer in this respect. To his friends and family, my condolences. As a consolation though, it is good to know that as a natural bodybuilder focusing on health, strength and his success, he lived a long, full and successful life. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this tribute. This is the golden era bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just the, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooken.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. 
your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout. 